What's up guys, it's Asian J here today and I'm back again to do an unboxing for you guys. Today I've got something really special. Uh, I finally got time to go pick it up. Uh, it's the white uh, Nexus 4, or Nexus 5. Uh, so I'll just open this up skillfully again and try not to show my credit card information or address. So I'll just whip the box right around and pull this out. So that's the Nexus 5 device. So quick comparison between the boxes right there. You can see it's almost identical. However, you do have that white uh, black backing to show you the back door and you have the white version. So if you haven't checked out my black uh, unboxing of the Nexus 5, go check it out. And this is a Nexus 4 comparison to it. You can see big design difference there, and it's not <clears throat> insanely uh, big difference, but it's pretty, pretty massive. So as usual, we're just gonna put this to the side. Okay, so we got little two little tabs, tabs there, and I'm gonna use my uh, knife and open this up. Have a beautiful little logo right there. So. So we are greeted with the Nexus 5 device. So we're gonna pull out the Nexus 5 device, the white one quick. We're gonna look to the back and just make sure it's uh, the white one and you can see it's absolutely white. Put that down to the side. We're gonna see what is the box. Uh, nothing in here. See the box right here. We've got the SIM removal tool right here. We've got the Nexus 5 turn on, how to turn it on. We've got that in uh, Spanish and we got it in French as well. We got the safety in Spanish and the safety in English and French. We've got the charging uh, connector right here. And we got the USB. So we're gonna power this device on and we have the power button right there. So I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna peel the front of the FOSS. Off and you can see it's turning on. So let's talk about uh, the quick specs of this device. So the dimensions of the device is 137.8, uh, 69.17 by 8.59 millimeters thin. At the front we have a 1.3 front facing camera. To the back we have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with optical stabilization. We got a 4.95 inch display with 1920 by 1080p. It has a 445 PPI pixels per inch for those few pixel counters right there. Uh, we got a full HD IPS display, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on this uh, device. Also as well, the battery pack on this is a non-removable 2300 milliampere per hour battery. So you should definitely be able to get what you want out of this. So the top of the device right here, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Got a little microphone right there. And it's, uh, it's, it's actually glossy right there around the phone. We'll speak about that in a couple seconds. <clears throat> Talking about processing power now, the processing power inside of this, it's basically a Snapdragon 802.26 gigahertz processor, and it has an Adreno 330 GPU, 450 uh, megahertz in case of you guys who are wondering there, so we're gonna skip all this. This is the 16 gigabyte model version. It has two gigs of RAM on board. It has a micro, slim micro USB for charging. It has two, gr uh, two speakers at the bottom, one of which is actually a speaker and one is fake. So we got some other sensors on board, such as the GPS, gyroscope, uh, accelerometer, compass uh, proximity sensor, and ambient sensor. So I'm gonna just quickly show you guys the difference between the black and the white uh, Nexus 5 device. So I have the black Nexus 5 device right here, and I've got the white one. Uh, immediately, right off the bat, if you look at the back of the device, you can see the difference in colors right there. This is definitely white and this is black stating the obvious right there If we spin to the left hand side of these devices what we do have here It's the same exact layout in terms of ports. However, the white is glossy the black is matte So that's the only uh, big difference I could probably say there for you guys uh, So at the top it's the same exact thing as well. It's glossy matte 
nothing big changes there. So, uh, to the side as well, same exact thing. There's absolutely not a big difference between these two devices other than the color. Uh, the only thing that I find is really cool is the little accent that you get with the white inside of like the speaker grill. That's actually pretty darn sexy to be honest with you. I actually really like that a lot. So, uh, the they both run Android 4.4, they both run uh, the latest version of KitKat. Uh, these devices are absolutely powerful, powerful, powerful. Can't emphasize that. Anymore. So guys, this has been my unboxing of the Nexus 5 device. I'm working on a review for the Nexus 5 currently. Be sure in the description down below, let me know which device you think is sexier to me. Uh, it's kind of hard decision to be honest. I like the matte, but I, I really like the white and the glossy. However, uh, this has been my unboxing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit the like button before you go. Hit the subscribe button if you're not if you're new to my channel here today. Also, as well, follow me on the Facebook, the Twitter, and BBM channels. Links down below for everything. I'll see you guys in the next video.